Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you know who this is by now if you've been watching me for a while. And for those of you who don't, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, this is Silver Hyena. And what I am doing today is bringing back these little metallic markers because I really enjoyed these when I used them the first time. And before I pack these up for my impending move, I wanted to use them one last time because, well, I got one of these awesome little tiny art portfolios. And I've got some bigger ones too, mind you. But I figured it's solid black. It's an unusual canvas. Why not give it a try? And here, here. just for those of you, here's some artwork that I've done in previous videos. And if you'd like, I could have links to all of these in the description below, so there's that. But I wanted a smaller portfolio for my smaller pieces, and I figure, why not turn the portfolio into an art piece? So without further ado, I'm gonna get started. And I have no plan whatsoever. So this was something that just sort of popped into my head. I mean, I had the portfolio and I had the markers and I was curious to see if they would work on surfaces other than just humdrum paper. Sure enough, they do. But as stated earlier, while I had the sudden spark of inspiration, I wasn't entirely sure what to do with it. However, when in doubt, Go with a dragon. I mean, you can't go wrong with dragons. Plus, I only had six colors to work with. Okay, seven if you count the white gel pen, but I know that's cheating. sure that this portfolio makes the best canvas in the world, I'm really glad that I took the gamble. There's just something special about customizing your own art supplies, or anything else for that matter. I had a lot of fun playing around with these markers once again. After using the Crazy Art Metallic markers and the glitter paint pens that I had picked up off of Amazon, I'd love to try out Posca pens or even some of the Posca knockoff brands. Yeah, believe it or not, out of all these different art supplies that I have been trying out, I have never used Posca pens. Leave it to me to always want to add to my never-ending art supply collection. So, my lovely viewers, what kind of pens and or markers do you like to use? Post below. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Plus, I'd love to get some new ideas.
Alrighty, here we are. So, I, I'm not really so sure that a an, excuse me, it, I want to call it a toy, itoya, atoya, whatever, art portfolio. Okay, it might not necessarily be the best canvas in the world for these types of pens, but hey, I wanted to give it a try. So, hey, sometimes you just never know. And <laughs> look at my hand. Yeah, I made a bit of a mess. But you know what? Sometimes them is just the breaks. <sighs> well, so I turned my art portfolio into an art piece. And you know what? I had fun doing it. Is it my greatest work? Hardly. But did I have fun? Now that's the important thing. Speaking of fun, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody.